Happy New, New Year! Year! Woohoo! Welcome to January the 1st and Veganuary. Uh, this video we titled My First Vegan Dinner, so it's to help you cook your first vegan dinner if you're starting on the journey of Veganuary. Veganuary started in 2014 by Matthew and Jane. It's all about encouraging people to eat vegan for one month and try it. So today we're going to break down a recipe and show you how we write it. We're going to just show you the bones of the recipe and what are the six components that make up a recipe for us. Point number one, choose your ethnicity, whether it be Italian, whether it be Mexican, whether it be kind of American fast food. Whether it be Asian, whether it be Thai, you know, there's so many different ethnicities of food. So today we're going for Asian, so largely Japanese. Uh, point number two, choose your starch. We're gonna go with an Asian style or Japanese style food. We're gonna base around wholemeal noodles. Worthwhile choosing wholemeal because they're higher in fiber, but what would be an example of another starch? So there's loads of other starches. You could choose quinoa, you could choose millet, you could choose wholemeal couscous, short grain brown rice, basmati barley. rice, barley. There's so many different arrays of grains or whole grains. We're gonna use um, noodles as we've said. I've got a pot of boiling water here. These particular ones cook in four minutes, so I'm gonna put them in first and foremost. Uh, point number three, choose your protein. In this case, we're gonna choose black beans and we're choosing tofu. So we're just gonna quickly show you how to cook tofu. So this is a, a firm tofu. Just give it a quick squeeze to remove some of the moisture. It'll fry better and we'll get more browning. Uh, tofu is one of the highest sources of protein. I think it's about 20% on average. And black beans are great. They're still a very high component of carbohydrate, but in terms of proteins, there's tempeh, there's different kind of beans, there's chickpeas, there's also there's whole... nuts, there's seeds, there's many different types. Yep. So normally we wouldn't necessarily choose protein as our second or third option, we'd leave it further down the track, but in this case we want to get our tofu in the pan as quick as possible. So I've chopped it into long strips, it's just easier to season. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of oil, in I've got the pan. the pan. High heat. So we so. want it to get it browning, browning is an indication of flavour development. So in goes our tofu. Oh, nice. Okay, time to add our flavor to the tofu. So I've got a bowl here. In our bowl, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of miso. So miso is one of our main flavor agents here. The fact that it's an Asian dish adds a real umami depth of flavor. In on top, two tablespoons of maple syrup. So this is gonna form the glaze, this kind of lovely kind of sheen on the top of our um, tofu. Give it a good mix. So if this is your first time using maple syrup, that's the sweetener that we use, that's our main one, because it's higher in minerals and obviously, it being vegan, you don't want to use honey. Just grab a bit of tablespoon on each one, just spread it through, and just turn it around. Oh, look at that, it's starting to blister. And then while that's happening, we're gonna get the other side. Oh my God, it looks amazing, isn't it? So we've literally cooked them for less than a minute on both sides, and you can see they've slightly charred. They're so full of flavor. Beautiful on both sides, and the smell is just amazing. Oh, it just smells so mammy and salty and oh. Okay, you'll see there's a huge amount of charring in the pan and a lot of flavor, which we don't want to lose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deglaze that. I've boiled the kettle. I've taken our boiled kettle. I'm going to pop in a little bit of water to start to take that flavor off. Probably about 100 ml. And I'm simply just going to scrape all the flavor off the bottom. It's going to immerse with the water and then we've just got absolute flavor which we're going to fry our veg in. So next step, flavor base. In the case of Asian cook cooking, a typical Indian stock is based around garlic, ginger, chili. Ah, in the place here, we've got ginger which we've chopped finely. I popped in about a thumb sized piece which is quite a lot. We're using organic ginger so we left the skin on it. I've got three cloves of garlic. In a lot of vegan cooking, garlic chili ginger is the base, particularly when it's Asian or Japanese or and Chinese. I've got one red chili, in it goes. Uh, so Steve, what are an example of other flavor bases from around the world? Italian will always be onion garlic, typically. Uh, Mexican you might use, Mexican might be in tomato, or sorry, avocado and tomato. But typical, the basis of most vegan cooking generally stems from garlic, onion and ginger. They're the main root flavors. Yeah. Okay, into this dish now we're gonna choose our veg. So in terms of the veg we've chosen, we've chosen leek, and we've chosen pak choy. Leek is a really understated veg that has an amazing sweetness when it's steamed. So we're gonna steam it in these base flavors. So first step but generally with a leek is chop it in half. Just cause often there's a bit of dirt in the middle of it. I'm chopping into kind of larger chunks. And they go straight into the pan. And you'll note that we're using the full length of the leek. 
quite interestingly, traditionally in Ireland, people will only use the white part of the leek. Whereas in Spain, typically in northern Spain, they use only the green part. But we've typically found that the whole part of the leek is so much flavour and deliciousness in it. Okay, in on top of that pan, I'm popping in more boiling water again. So probably another 100 ml. And we're going to put the lid on. By putting the lid on, what's going to happen is as that water starts to evaporate, it gets caught in the top of the pan and it starts to really kind of cook the leek in moisture. So it ends up really sweet, really kind of just juicy and just incredibly succulent. So we're going to leave that there, stirring occasionally for about three to four minutes until the leek really starts to just become succulent. So meanwhile, our noodles are done. I cooked them as per the back of the pack. I'm just going to drain and rinse them. Okay, so we're steaming away this leek and we're gonna soon add our pak choy to it. If you're new to vegan cooking, fiber is gonna be your best friend. A typical Western diet or meat and two veg diet might be somewhere between 12 and 15 grams of fiber. So very low. Per day. Per day, yeah. A RDA of fiber is typically 30 grams a day. An average vegan diet will get somewhere between 30 and it might even reach 100 grams of fiber. So really high in fiber. So what we'll typically do with all the veg, you wanna break the fiber down so it's much more easy to digest. So here what's happening is the leek is becoming soft. You'll see the grain of the leek starting to really break down there. Next step, we're going to add in pak choy. The white of the pak choy is quite crunchy and it can be a little bit kind of off-putting to people. So I'm going to just chop off the base. I'm going to pop in the white of the pak choy. So in terms of choosing your veg, you could choose whatever veg. As we said, we're making an Asian-based dish, so pak choy goes great. Greens go really well with it. If we were choosing a Mexican dish, you might have corn in it. There'll definitely be tomatoes in it. If it was Brazilian, it could be something different. You know, it'd be black bean for jaune. Yeah, it could be something like that. So it depends on the root of the dish, whatever veg. In this context, fast cooking veg is really important. So we're getting just the white of the pak choy in it goes into the pan there. So you see the leek looking very succulent and juicy. Needs a little bit longer just to break down those fibers. So you'll see here a lot of the water has evaporated and as soon as the water has evaporated, it's starting to fry. We want to keep this steaming. So just add in a little more boiling water again so it continues to steam as opposed to fry. So we're probably up to close to 300 ml of water added in three separate parts. Okay, so we steam that away for another couple of minutes. Next, we want to get our beans into the dish. Uh, we're using one tin of, just make sure with beans, if you're using tin beans, to drain and rinse them because uh, you're washing away a lot of the flatulence. Beans get a very bad rap. They say beans, beans, the more you eat, the more you fart. Um, ah -ha -ha. But once you w wash away all the juice on them, you're reducing the flatulence power. And interesting enough, on the topic of beans, um, the blue zones, are, if you've heard of them, there's five places in the world where there's the most amount of centenarians live, the most amount of people that live long, happy, fulfilled lives. And they find that 95% of their diet across these five places is plant-based and whole food plant-based. And a huge component of their diet is beans. beans. So beans are a great thing to have in your diet, particularly if you're new to veganism. Um, beans are a great thing and, and they're going to make up quite a part of your diet. So I think learning to love them is really important. Next point, what we're going to do is we're going to take our tofu, cut a certain portion of it into smaller chunks. See what I'm doing here? Just so this will spread throughout the dish. Because with your food, you want a variety of texture and variety of appearance. So these are the smaller bits that are going to go into the dish now. Whereas these two here, we're going to keep as large chunks. So it really looks fantastic. The colors are great, very Asian looking. Really just look fab. Okay, so next point is to get our sauce going. So the base of this sauce, it being Asian, are coconut milk. Coconut milk adds a real creaminess, a lovely fat, a depth of flavor, and it's such a good body or carrier for flavors. If you don't like coconut milk, simply just replace with a veg stock and just let it evaporate so it kind of thickens up the sauce. So if you're completely new to cooking and vegan cooking, coconut milk typically has a large bit, the cream is left at the top of it. That's completely natural and as it hits the heat, it's gonna melt and become right the way through it. Particularly if you live in colder countries like Ireland. Uh, coconut milk will have a full fat content of about 20%, low fat typically would be about 10%. If you're new to vegan cooking, you're going fat, oh my God, that's bad. Try to use more of the whole fat, so your fat's going from avocados, from milk, from seeds, they're just gonna be higher in fiber. Coconut milk is something that's more of an indulgence and something to be enjoyed. So in terms of your sauce, it's balancing the seasoning with the sauce. There's five different flavor profiles. There's sweet, there's salty, there's acidic, there's bitter, and there's umami. So oh. we've already got a bit of umami in there through miso, but Dave has to add in his magic black sauce. Yeah, so I'm going in with tamari. Um, if you're completely new to vegan cooking, uh, soya sauce, you'll probably be aware of. It gives that sharp umami depth of flavor to dishes. Tamari is typically more balanced, it's sweeter. Um, and it's got less sodium than uh, salt. David loves it. I love it. I'm going to add in two tablespoons. I just think it gives so much flavor to things. One, 
two. Next up, as I mentioned, an acid. So I'm gonna go in with the juice of one lime. What the acid is gonna do, it's gonna help break down and disperse that strong umami flavor. Now, to bring it all together, we've got our noodles, and the reason why I rinsed them under cold water was just to stop them cooking. I'm just gonna break them all up. These are wholemeal noodles. Use rice or buckwheat if you want it gluten-free. Along with that, I have the tops of the greens. I've left that to go in at the last because I just want to keep the nutritional profile as, as strong and as fresh as possible. So it's just a matter of bringing the whole dish together. Oh, it looks magnificent, doesn't it? It really does. So if you know of anyone doing Veganuary, please share this with them. We've tried to break this down into components and framework to really support you. And if you're new to Veganuary and you're starting it, fair play to you. We are right behind you. We have so much vegan recipes here for you. In terms of finishing this dish, we want to make it pop. We want to give a sweetness and a burst of flavor. Pomegranate, typically not used in Asian cooking, cooking but in other parts of the world, it's known as grenadine. So many ways of obviously getting it out. You can bang it into your hand like this, into a bowl. I'm being a bit crude and debased like that, but just take some seeds. What they're gonna do is give a juiciness, a jewel-like pop of color, and add just a fresh vitality that wouldn't otherwise be there. So every Tuesday in January, we're gonna really support you. We're gonna post a recipe and a framework like this to really support you on Veganuary and to really encourage as many people to get behind this and really succeed in their vegan adventures. Uh, we're going to taste it in the pan, but when you're serving it, just put a little bit in the side of the dish. It just makes it look beautiful and adds that sense of, oh wow, variety of texture. So, but this is quite a complicated dish, slightly more complicated than usual, but it's so good. You will really impress yourself and your friends with this and your family. It just tastes beautiful. I just love steamed leek so much and tofu with miso goes so well. Right, there's so much flavour going on. Deeply satisfying, an incredible start to Veganuary. Thanks for watching. As we said, if you're, if you're new to vegan, you're right, fair play to you. New to veganism, we're right behind you. We've been at it for 17 That's years. It really is, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Please share with anyone needing inspiration. And, and uh, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We, we upload videos on a Tuesday and a Friday. And as we said, January, we're going to upload a video, a veganuary based video every Tuesday to really just support you on your journey. Cheers. Thanks to Mel. Cheers.